we will talk about uh, some of the commonly used uh, very frequently used uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, uh, on uh, in excel and also uh, some of the commonly used uh, worksheet uh, elements okay the first thing is now i've got this uh, uh, number here which is 1453 where i'm keeping the cursor on now if i press f1 it is going to pick up the help that we all know so uh, I can keep my cursor anywhere and press F1 and I get the help. Okay, so I can just type here uh, the thing that I'm looking for and I can get help from uh, the Microsoft. Okay, then F2, function 2, okay, the top row on the keyboard has your F1, F2 and so on. So the F2 will actually let me edit and the good part about F2 is uh, it, the cursor goes to the extreme end of the value which is mentioned in that cell so i can simply do a backspace and then uh, make my changes or whatever okay enter so if i enter it takes up those changes if i realize that no i did not uh, i do not wish to continue with the change made i can quickly just uh, do the undo there is this uh, uh, arrow here which is uh, uh, used for undo but the keyboard shortcut for that is control Z okay so it it restores the earlier value which is one four five three right okay so uh, control O can be used to open so when I press control O on uh, any spreadsheet it takes me to the backstage view and it lets me open one of the recently opened files uh, and uh, uh, some files which are shared with me yeah, so I can always go to this PC. So a bunch of options uh, are given to me here. Okay, I can always go back to the Excel spreadsheet. All right now, I am on this sheet called uh, Travel. Okay, I can just do a right click and I can hide this entire sheet. So okay, hide. I click on hide and see it only now shows up the four sheets, not the complete five. Yeah, I can now go on to any of the visible sheets and say right click and I will have the unhide option available for me. So when I click on unhide, it will show me that the travel sheet is hidden. So if I wish to unhide that, I can always click on OK from here. Now this was about uh, hiding the, the sheet. Okay, If I wish to uh, hide a particular uh, row, or a column I can simply just select the row by shift spacebar and I can just do a right click and I can say hide right uh, of course control Z can be used to undo right if it's a column control spacebar is going to select the entire column okay and I can just go on the top right click and I can hide or unhide if multiple columns are hidden even they can be unhidden by the command here Okay, uh, then we know control S is for saving. That's a pretty straightforward shortcut, but F12, the function 12, F12 is meant for uh, save as. So if I do not wish to save this as an Excel workbook, I can go to the drop down here and choose any one of the other extensions available for me. Okay, so F12 is the shortcut for save as. Remember, in some of the laptops, you'll have to use the function key and then the F1 or the F2 or the F12 key, right? Standalone uh, F12 or F1 or F2 will do something else, right? It could be the volume control, it could be anything, right? Okay, now uh, let's press F3. Okay, let's see what about the, what the F3 does for us. So I press F3 and it gives me a window that goes by the name paste name, okay? So, uh, and then uh, my data is one of the names that I had defined in this Excel file. So the paste name uh, window can be initialized by the F3. Yeah, escape, okay. Uh, what is F4? Uh, for example, if I have, a, let's just add a couple of uh, sheets. So sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Let's just delete this. So right click and uh, delete asks me for a confirmation so I can always hit the space bar or enter or simply click on this delete okay so it's gone now if I wish to delete the sheet 2 also I can press F4 yeah let's press F4 again and the sheet 3 also goes off 
yeah i can always do a save from uh, the top the tv like icon here or control s is for uh, save okay uh, if i wish to uh, simply uh, make a cell constant even then i can use the f4 shortcut kindly note that the f4 shortcut plays a, a double role in excel it also sometimes performs the uh, the repeat action task like we saw for sheet deletion uh, and uh, in some other cases it will also perform the task of making a cell constant or uh, static uh, that's called absolute referencing and then we can go further and do relative referencing also yeah so f4 can also make your cell constant so an example here would be i start off with an equal to i take the reference of uh, any cell let's say this i2 cell and if i press f4 it is making the cell constant so there is a dollar before i and there is a dollar before 2 which means if i now drag this down okay it will simply keep showing me india 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 because I'm not allowing Excel to move the reference and shift from I2 to any other cell. Yeah, even if I drag it down or right hand side, it will still remain India, India, India. So that's the concept of uh, 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 F4. Okay, and of course, we have the delete button also on the keyboard. So I can simply press delete after selecting a range of cells or one single cell. Yeah, delete on the keyboard will. Uh, take the entire stuff out all right okay now let's also see what the f5 does the commonly used uh, functional shortcuts are uh, f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 in excel we we'll look at f5 the f5 stands for go to now in this sheet that says uh, that goes by the name tournament we have done some functions okay so let's quickly press f2 yeah so f2 shows up the function as well and also it's meant for editing like i've shown like i've shown earlier yeah f2 will expose the function as well so it's all it shows uh, d sum function here and uh, it shows uh, d average function here so multiple uh, functions have been done in this sheet if i now select the entire sheet so control a is the shortcut so that's another very commonly used shortcut i will select somewhere uh, within the sheet and press control a to highlight the entire sheet and then I can press F5, it takes me to a window called uh, Go To. Within the Go To window, I've got this thing that says uh, Special. Okay, Special, Go To Special. Uh, let's just say that I want to look for formulas. I can click on Formulas and say OK. Yeah, so that's what, so see, it highlights all the functions, all the cells which contain uh, functions. So that's what F2 does. It lets you go to the Go To window from where you can look for functions or blanks or uh, various other things. Finally, we will also talk about uh, another uh, shortcut which is not known to a lot of people. I can press Control W to close. So Control W will close the entire Excel uh, interface. I mean, not the entire Excel interface, all the sheets are gone now, right? I've got multiple sheets here, all of them have now been closed but i'm still within the excel book the excel file the interface is still uh, on now to also close that i will have to press alt and f4 so the f4 not just does the repeat activity and the referencing i mean absolute or relative referencing it also helps you to close an application if it's pressed with alt yeah so these were uh, some of the commonly used shortcuts in Microsoft Excel.